be a tough fought battle. But we're gonna find out right now. Yeah, the time for talk is over. Now we play the games. Carrion taking this one in. It'll be followed up by Melo Shisu, and he'll score eight seconds in. And that pick is looking pretty good, partner. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling good. They're coming in. Melo already getting it started. He was the all-star player last week. Uh, stat breakdown from RL Stats has him ranked, power rank one overall for last week. Already getting started here, eight seconds in. And this was kind of their calling card last week. They scored early and often against Vertex. Put them in a hole in the opening minute of a couple of games. Shamway now trying to keep possession in midfield, but it will be brought back down. Carry and shot, sent away by Tox, and that kicked out further than Shamway expected. Now back downfield it goes, and Meloshisu will send it right back downfield. He's got options down there. Exotic shadowing Tox, and Tox does well to get by him. Yeah, great play there from Tox. Heads up play, sees two, able to get it around two. Unfortunately, nobody there to back him up to take that last shot around the last defender. Now Shamway, he is falling hopelessly to the ground. Just no boost to work with, still not gonna find any. So Stake will throw this downfield. He's gonna use all of his boost, and he'll have a tough time getting to that ball on the side. He does so, sure. and now Tox over top, and it goes in off the post. Kyrian opened the way for that play to happen, making a challenge, or uh, actually I think it was Exotic, sorry. Exotic came in, made a bad challenge. Nobody else was back to defend, open net. Everybody's trying to scramble to get there in time. Talks with good placement, right off the post and in. Talk about never giving up on a play. A lot of players would be like, well, I have no boost. I can't go get this. He never gave up, got one touch that threw that off the side. The defense wasn't expecting the bounce. And here we are, all knotted up. One apiece in game one. Zamway looking for more. Tox coming on, and he will get that ball to stay put. But now Meloshisu takes over. Here comes Solari again. And a loose ball off the corner. Exotic's going to be first onto it. Nobody went. And Zamway lucky that he guessed right. Now it's going to be brought across by Meloshisu. Blocked by Exotic. Can he center this ball? He certainly can, but Tox is there to make sure there's no pass. Looking for some passing plays there. Fortunately, Solari not going to be able to get a good enough touch to set anything up. But I love that they're going for them, and they're going for them often. I, they're one of the teams that we're seeing go for these pass play attempts more often than we're seeing the other teams go for them. Karen with a drive right down the middle, and a good job by the defense of Espanol. Throwing that off to the corner. You saw earlier with Servette, a lot of those balls were just cleared right in front of the net and they were punished severely by Weedham girls. Meloshisu lets this go by, and Karen will also drop that to the corner, but he doesn't have a teammate over there, so he'll have to play again from the back wall. Needed to get one more touch, he could not. Meloshisu could, but Stake will throw that off to the side, and we again continue on with the stalemate past halftime. Yeah, start of the game, we saw people getting ball around defenders, a little bit more control in their touches. Now we're starting to see these kind of booming passes to the mid and banging balls for the goal, not really making anything out of it. Like to see possibly a little bit more control, a little bit, you know, get the passing play down in the offensive half rather than trying to just boom them through the mid. Shamway will bring this. He's got his eye on a wall pinch, but that's intercepted and it leads to a shot from Exotic. Carrion will try to keep this in the zone. He does have a flick to use, but it will be cleared away by the defense of Espanol yet again. Shamway and Exotic will battle, but that ball well played over to Kieran. Now Meloshisu has to wait as Tox is up there first. Now Kieran with a drive that's going to go well high, but Solari waiting for yet another rebound opportunity. That kicks away from Exotic, and a little bit of indecisiveness could be very costly now. Tox. That's going to kick right over to Meloshisu, right place, right time. And we remain tied yet again. Neither side has had many quality opportunities since Espanol tied it earlier. Now Stake has that ball go to the corner. Exotic, good challenge. This is on target. And just like last week, it's a goal that comes from out of nowhere for Solari. 
They seem to have it happen a lot. Exotic with a little uh, off that challenge, gets the pinch, rockets that ball down the field. One minute left, still a lot of time on the clock. Need the team out of this. Uh, RCD Espanol, though, gonna need to make something happen here in this final minute. Shamway trying to get over Exotic. That's not really cleared, but a good follow-up is going to lead to a goal by Carrion. And just like that, it's a two-goal game. I think they've seen more goals out of them than any other team where the ball is just flying across the, uh, across the ground there. What, what did you call them uh, last week? Worm burners. They are the kings of worm burners here on uh, Solari. And it stands to reason that you would see more goals like that from them than anybody else, because we have, in fact, seen more goals, period, out of Solari here than any other team in the rival series thus far. Stake going up top. Exotic got a piece. Tox was ready for it. This goes across to Jamwe, but nobody there to follow up. It's a great clear off the backboard, and it looks like Solari is going to close this one out despite the demo on Kyrian, because they do not need to score anymore. They just need to kill time, and they have done so to perfection. Might final seconds, shot. yeah, final seconds will tick down here. Seven to go, and it will be all over in game one. So chance to reset for RCD Espanol as they drop game one to Solari. They look outstanding in week one. You picked them here, and it's starting to look pretty good for you, Mr. Supersonic. Yes, Solari came out. They're playing just like we expect, or at least how I expected them to after week one. They're getting plays going early. They're getting passing plays. They're possessing the, uh, making good plays out of the possession. They're not just banging the ball down the field. Uh, they're finding openings, and they're doing it enough that the defense of Espanol is starting to create openings, and we're seeing those ground pinches come in and just rocket across the field into open nets. Stake struggled in that game as well, as again, you mentioned you kind of got off to a slow start last week, picked it up as the series went on. You may not get that opportunity against the Solari team because they play like this the way they did last week as well. It could be a very, very short series for it Espanol. Solari played consistent all the way through their series last week. Even in uh, game two, I think was their closest one, and it was a 4-5 loss where they kind of got into a shootout. That might be the style of play that you're going to need to put in, um, put up against Solari to take them down. You may just need to get into a shootout and get a little bit more aggressive on offense. I don't know, though, because Espanol's defensive side is where we're seeing the breakdown right now. But they're not getting offense either, so it's kind of a push and, push and pull situation. I don't know which way they should go on it. The average shots last week, we touched on it very briefly, over 10 for Solari, just seven by comparison for Espanol. In game one there, the shot breakdown, eight to three in favor of Solari. Just again, proving that they can dominate on both ends of the pitch and limit opportunities because they didn't allow many scoring opportunities by Vertex last week. They certainly didn't allow many from Espanol in game one. Game two could be a different story as we kick things off yet again. Talks trying to score early for Espanol the way that Solari has scored very early so far this season. Shamway waiting for Meloshisu to make a bad play. He did not make a bad play at all. Instead, Exotic will follow it up. And again, Solari just seems like they're moving a little bit quicker to the ball as well. You're seeing Espanol stationary at times. Popped up by Carrion, and he got in the way of Exotic. A rare mistake, a rare breakdown in teamwork from Solari. And it could provide Espanol with an opportunity. It's sent away easily by Exotic. And you have to feel like Espanol is going to have to work a lot harder to get scoring chances. Well, we They're going to break this defense. We just saw right there uh, the other two players, not Zonway, but the other two were both up for that ball. So we had another double commit center, uh, double commit issue there in the mid. They need to clean that up. They have the breakdown on the defensive side is really what was losing that match for them in game one. Around the boards and back out, but a great centering pass from Miller Shitsu, and he put it just a little bit high and wide. This is in Shamway's wheelhouse, but he can't follow the play up. He didn't have any boost. Tox has plenty, but he burned about 40 of it just trying to make a challenge and barely got a piece of the ball. 
Dox will leave for Shamway. Nobody on the weak side, and Exotic will clear yet again. The ideas seem to be there for Espanol. They are trying to get a little more creative, play up near the ceiling, but it hasn't resulted in a goal just yet for them. They have also switched over to a little bit stronger defense. They're not quite as aggressive into the opponent, uh, opponent's half. They have that third man back a lot, where before they were really sitting mid a lot. Stake with Shumway behind him. Shumway or somebody's got to branch off eventually. Instead, he will center here. Shot's going to be high. Mellor Schuster got a piece. So too did Exotic, but they did not clear the zone. Karen will try instead. Exotic has no boost to go up for this ball, though. So that does not work out. And now RCD Espanol is looking to take the lead. They do not yet, as they continue to look for their first lead in the series. Maybe Stake can provide it. One on one through the air. He's over one and blocked by Carrion. That was a close one there. Woo, another close one as Exotic gets the save and another save. Woo, the offensive pressure coming out of Espanol right now is really high. Unfortunately, they haven't been able to break down the defense of Solari just yet. As I say that though, Stake coming in. We were talking about it. Stake needing to get warm. Finally getting involved here in match number two with the first goal. Two minutes left on the clock. That is exactly what Espanol needed and precisely what they deserve. They had pressure among pressure among pressure. Finally, the defense of Solari cracks and they've got to hold on now for two minutes. Would love to add just a little bit of cushion to this lead. Off the corner it goes, race up to the air. It is won by Solari initially. Now Kieran got a demo coming on as Exotic tried to run interference. Did not work out, but they do still have possession. Double tap, oh, just off the mark. And now it is Tox, challenged by Kieran. Now we're seeing what Espanol did just a moment ago, getting quality scoring chances. Eventually something's gotta give, but not quite yet as Shamway clears, and Stake does get in the way of that shot as well. Yeah, switching back and forth, both teams going really aggressive in the offensive half. Solari not able to make anything of it yet. If they can get that pressure going though, eventually that defense will break down. They need to stay in just a little bit longer. A couple more boost steals there, and I think they would have broken them down. We're about to reach the final minute. Two on one situation for Espanol. They do not convert as Exotic made the only play he had, a very dangerous one, to get that ball out of harm's way. Now it's over to Shamway, who had trouble controlling that ball on the side. It forces Stake all the way back. The goal scorer for Espanol. And Exotic will break free here in the middle. And in the final minute, finally Solari has tied things up. Yeah, Mello starting that play off, getting that challenge in the corner, puts the ball into a weird spot, and then that second hit off of Tox, creating a completely open pass, open net, free goal. Tied up 1-1 here, 40 seconds left. Drop down off the challenge. No, he will not convert, will stake, but Tox is there. And I wonder if anybody from Solari kind of gave up on this, assuming it was in. Melo Shisu was in a tough spot. Doesn't look like anybody gave up, but they were too far out to actually get back. Both of them coming from the corners, going to grab boost, leaving them alone in the in the uh, in the net there. Well, that's a tough, tough goal to give up. You spend a couple of minutes trying to equalize, and you finally do, only to have it taken away immediately after. Shamway now trying to kill time out of the corner. Exotic cuts him off. Melosisu tries to take over. Exotic needs a booming clear downfield. Might have preferred that not hitting the ceiling, but he's got Carrion now. One on one with Stay, uh, Shamway, and Shamway makes the stop. Seven seconds left. Time for one more charge for Solari here to try and tie things up. But this ball could just float down. Tox did not let it hit the ground, but this should drop. It does. And Espanol has tied the series. So, stake. Showing up here in game number two, MVP of his team for that one. Getting involved a little bit earlier. Like seeing that out of Espanol, I think that Stake is in, he's involved, this team's shooting hot. 
This is going to be a tough matchup for Solari going into these next two matches. Oh, the next two rounds. Yeah, definitely. Now, you know, the shots are almost equal now in the series, but only because Espanol had a 12-5 edge there. It, it completely erases the uh, the deficit from game one. A lot of the passes on, on the Solari side of that match felt forced. Uh, throwing, just trying to throw the ball mid to somebody when there's two defenders there, a lot of them getting broken up. Uh, opportunities where they could have taken the ball up the sidewall instead around the defender, but they just tried to do a lot of midfield passing on the ground. It just wasn't working. Well, I think one of the things you learn very early on when you aspire to be a competitive player is just how important boost management is. You saw, as you mentioned, a lot of passes, even downfield, where Solari was trying to break out downfield and try to score some of those quick counterattack goals like they did last week and even like they did in game one. Those opportunities weren't there because you'd see exotic downfield with a big goose egg for boost. So going forward now, I wonder if that'll be a point of emphasis for them. Yeah, the midfield is definitely something that was a major change. The, the way that Espanol handled midfield was a complete change from game number one. Uh, exotic and some of these guys that we've seen do really well in the midfield for Solari last week are going to need to get in there and start winning some of those midfield challenges. One game apiece. Let's break this tie as things have devolved here into a best of three for all the marbles. Samway's shot going to be blocked away. Tox will turn on this and throw it right back towards the back wall. And he could take that corner boost if he wanted it. He does not. That allows Exotic to take it. And he can break out of his own zone alongside Meloshisu. Samway against Carrion. Get some help from Stake. Samway will steal some boost as well out of the... Solari zone, and now it'll be Exotic on a breakaway against Tox. That's well stopped there. Now Melosisu, one less defender to deal with thanks to Exotic, but a better clear by Zamwe that Exotic will catch up with. Dangerous play there as all three of them were in the offensive half. It could have been a, uh, an easy goal for the side of Espanol. Luckily, they were able to get back and clear that one out, but the, deep, the defense is starting to break down a little bit as they're getting really aggressive on offense. This will be popped all the way downfield for Meloshisu. And brought straight back in. Tox will try now. He can't get past Exotic. Some way in a tough spot along the backboard. Had to jump out early. And it could be Solari on the attack, if not for the efforts of Stake. Off the corner, maybe to himself. No, Kieran will set it right back from whence it came. Now Meloshisu might have misplayed that ball, but Exotic is there to bail him out. 90 seconds by, no goals just yet. And possession back to Solari. Out of the corner here as Samway will get there, but no pass to be found. Carrion's in the way. Again, the game won and lost at midfield. Very early on in this game. So far, nobody has cracked. But now it's Tox against Carrion and another crucial stop at the center line. We are seeing them a little bit more involved in the midfield. We were talking about that a bit. Solari is getting there. They are getting a little bit more control. Nobody's really been able to make anything out of any of their possessions yet. But I do like what I'm seeing out of Solari getting those midfield challenges and beating them to the ball. You don't necessarily have to score to have an advantage in games you see so often in American football. Yeah, you, and even in rugby, yeah, you just kick the ball away, gain incremental advantages as the game goes on. You feel like Solari are just one critical touch away from breaking past the last defender. Maybe a bump or a demo as well. Tox will dribble in. That's stopped by Kieran. Samway and Stake are back. Exotic will push up. And where is Meloshisu? He's waiting at the center line for Kieran now. And he just can't get the ball to him because the defense on both sides not letting the ball get too close to their own net at all. Now they're starting to both stay in a defensive stance here. Neither one of them now pushing three at all. Typically, there's one or two guys back. We're not seeing that all-out offensive push. There's a big shot from Karen and another challenge. Gets the ball towards the net. And all of a sudden, some sparks of offense. Big drive downfield the other way that Meloshisu is there for. He will not be there for this play. He's taken out by Shamway. But now he'll be back in the play, waiting on the far side for this ball to come in. May have to stop Tox, and he does. Shamway's shot set away as well. Stake will keep it in the zone. So for everything Solari was doing in the first half of game three, 
Now they're getting it right back tenfold from RCD Espanol. This has popped up. Bad first touch and punished by Toxen Shumway. Bit of a double commit here from Kirian and Mello off that wall, both going for the same ball. Ends up with no third man back, and Kirian trying to rotate and come off the sidewall. Just all kinds of awkward there. Not able to get to the ball, and it opens up a hole. RCD Espanol gonna punch a hole through it. Remember, kids, the first touch is the most important one, and that one got away from a defender. And as a result, 1-0 to Espanol. Exotic trying to center for Kieran. Can't find him, so Exotic's gonna rotate out. He thought about turning back in, but Meloshisu has him covered. Now Exotic will try to center again. That shot's gonna be off the mark and popped downfield by Tox. Off to the corner. Could have taken a shot there, could stake. Goes back downfield, Kieran. Meloshisu waiting, you know, Exotic. His shot's gonna be blocked away off to the corner yet again. That's been the M.O. for RCD Espanol. Keep the ball out of the center. It has worked brilliantly in game three. Now Karen, ceiling. Nobody to follow this play up at all. They have got to get on the same page. Karen tried to get a piece of Samway in net. It did not work out. It'll be all hands on deck defensively for Espanol, looking to take a 2-1 series lead. Unless Kieran can go the distance of the field, he cannot, and Espanol is up 2-1. One. one of the things I noticed this week versus last week, Melo Shishu last week was that player. Uh, solo plays, getting the ball around two defenders, getting the pass out or getting the shot in, and I'm not seeing him do a lot of control attempts with the ball this week. That might be one of the keys that's breaking down on the Solari side. He's not getting those opportunities to dribble the ball around defenders or flick past them. Uh, and RCD Espanol is just keeping up the pressure. And they're doing this without Stake playing a huge role. He does have a goal and a couple of assists here. Shamway has actually been the one who has struggled mightily in this series, but Tox has been what he was not in week one, which is a force to be reckoned with. He just kind of seemed to be there last week. He had a couple of goals to his credit, played some very good defense. Now he's making his presence felt, and Solari doesn't seem to have an answer for him. Solari doesn't seem to have an answer for that midfield still. I really think that that's where they're losing the battle. They're not getting any good touches out of mid to set up some of these softer control plays that open the door for guys like Mello to go in and make a play. Those are where they're losing losing ground. They need to be able to get some of those plays in. If you can't get control over the ball and get it around and break the defense one or two guys and set up an opportunity, you're not going to get the shot in on Espanol. It's a very different game from what it was even a year ago. You've got to have your head on a swivel. And Espanol have. We have seen Solari has gone for those big physical plays. They've tried to take out defenders in net. And Shamway or Stake, whoever it is, they have jumped out of the way and kept their focus, too. They haven't panicked on their recovery. They get out of the way, see ball, see threat, clear it away. It's been like clockwork so far for Espanol. But they still have one more game to win here at Utopia Coliseum. Exotic had to make an adjustment, could not get by the initial defender. That is dangerously awful for Solari, but it works out as they do at least make one stop. But they are in danger of being under a lot of pressure, though that touch was not good at all. And right now it has turned into a clown show on both halves of the field, finally at least Settling down seems to be Espanol, but both teams, they're lucky they did not give up a goal there. Carrying with a possible pass. That one's going to get broken up, though. Defended well. Solari can't get anything going here. Just so many booming shots off the back wall, long passes, long clears, nothing where there's any kind of control. I keep saying it time and time again, but I. They've got to get possession again. Another booming shot down off target, easily picked up by Tox. It looks like, for the most part, communication seems to be on point. The ideas are there. You can tell that, you know, yeah, we're trying to get the ball to the center, clear out to the corners. Fundamentally, they're fine. Execution is not quite there, and that leads to an opportunity for Espanol. Tox now 
trying to get to the ceiling, and he did, but could not get a piece of that challenge coming back. They've been pretty solid. They've had a couple double commit issues. They got punished on one in last match, and they we saw the double commit right at the start of this match also. So comms are looking good the majority of the time, but there are these high pressure situations where you are seeing a communication breakdown, but they're recovering well out of that. They get right back into, into the thick of it. Popped away by Stake, but that's gonna go right to Karen. His shot, a rare opportunity for Solari on target, but cleared away. This will bank down again in front. Meloshisu denied at point blank range and another save for Stake. That'll inflate the shot totals, but really only one of those had a good chance of going in. And that one misses from Exotic. A golden opportunity on a silver platter, but a bronze finish has a still scoreless at halftime. You gotta, you have to make those shots here at this level when it's that open. Ton of open space in that net that he should have hit. Defense gonna break down here. Tox gonna, uh, Tox gonna knock one into the back of the net. Double commit there in mid again, leaving one person in the back who's in the corner. Not gonna be able to get back to get on defense to block that ball. Bit of a breakdown there. You call those can't miss opportunities on the other side for Solari. You cannot miss those and expect to be successful. And boy, did it rear its ugly head in that occasion. So they don't score on one end, almost immediately give up a goal the other way. And Espanol, two minutes away from a 2-0 start to the season. Winning the midfield battle again, Espanol, and they get a uh, demo there. Almost open up an opportunity, and Zamwe with a nice touch out to Stake. Nothing gonna come of it, though. They do seem like they're playing with a little bit more energy now. The momentum clearly on the side of Espanol. Talks gonna throw that one high and wide. But this will fall to stake. A big drive is going to go wide as well. He was trying to time it up and get maximum velocity behind the shot, but he could not. And Melo Shisu denied an opportunity as well. Now Carrion popping one up. Melo thought about it. He'll have to wait. And here comes Espanol again. That miss up top will cost them a scoring opportunity as here comes Exotic. And again, chance to maybe go for a demo play, but they do not. Realizing the defense of Espanol was back. That shot is saved away by Samway as well. Espanol is doing a great job of cutting off these passing lanes and being there to challenge and greet every pass that comes across the midfield. And that is something that we saw them do so well last week in Solari. And it seems that that might be what's breaking them down here is that they cannot get any midfield passing. Almost in there. Samway gonna be able to come in and save that ball. 30 seconds, exotic, that's gonna be high. Yes. Follow up from himself, will go through, and Solari is not quite done yet. Nice demo, Tox comes out, he's gonna be wide of it, and that's gonna open up an easy double tap there. Exotic able to send that one home. The open net's a little bit harder for him, but double taps all day. They are not gonna put up 17 goals in this series thanks to the defense of Espanol, but they have put up just enough to keep themselves alive. Down a game in game four, facing overtime perhaps, unless Meloshisu's got something in his bag of tricks. He does not, but there is still time. Five seconds, Exotic just banking one almost out of desperation out front. Now watch out the other way, Meloshisu is not cleared this to the ground. Now it looks like we're gonna head to overtime, though that did pop up, and wisely Solari lets it go. So golden goal for Espanol could make them 2-0. Exotic, trying to prolong this and go to game five. Maloshisu. Cannot get around a defender, so we'll be bounced back out. That's going to be high. Side flip in the net, and it's Melo Shisu to the rescue. Melo coming, coming in is the third man from the, from the back line out of the corner to get that ball and keep them alive here. Need to see him get a little bit more involved on offense. Exotic. 
No ground pinch goal this time like he had last week, but Carrion now has given away possession, so Exotic had to range back and get across. That's a good ball from Exotic. It can spring Meloshisu, who's got plenty of boost. Might have been playing possum a little bit. Nobody took the bait. And that's a great challenge by Shamway, even if he just fell into it. Around the corner did not keep possession, but now Tox is waiting, and Meloshisu does get the clear away. Rolled on and saved away by stake that time. Loose in front again. Kyrian forces game five. Great shot from Kyrian here. Ball's going to come across off Mello straight into him and able to just sneak it in. Perfect placement in that upper 90. And we got game five. We do indeed. A game that we thought more than any other matchup today just about looked like a coin flip and it is going to come down to the fifth and final game. And the, the shots, as you would expect, but there is one glaring hole there on the Espanol side. Shamway played a lot of defense, but was not allowed to move forward very much. Yeah, and they have been. They've been much more defensive since game number one of the series. Uh, he's definitely that, that third man back. He's making sure that these shots aren't getting in. He's also been really good, as we were talking about, the breaking up those passing lanes. I think that that's where Espanol shining, and I think that if they're able to do that here in game five, it still feels like the momentum of play is still on the Espanol side. I know they just lost that match there, but in terms of just watching the consistency on the field, the confidence in each other, Espanol feels hot at the moment. Last week, it felt like Solari wanted to sprint up and down the field, get into kind of some of these counterattack breakaway situations, almost turn the game into a track meet here against Espanol, a very grindy defensive team. It has been a battle that has more resembled a Neanderthalian rock fight. Just waiting for a team to discover fire here and light up in game five. Is, do you see anybody getting out to a quick start? Or is it going to be business as usual throughout the series? I, th I think it's probably going to start off the way that we've seen it. It's kind of been that back and forth battle the whole time. I, I don't think we're going to see anybody break out fast here. Um, I think that we're probably going to see Zamwe back there sitting in that third man role again. Um, but they should be able to get him involved on offense and he'll be in there and be a save already how to stake or save out of Melo Sishu, sorry. Reverse that in my head. Well, who will invent the wheel here in game five? It'll be Tox along the back wall. Safely keeping that to himself, but Ball does kick out for an opportunity for Solari. Now Shamway beaten there, and it almost looks like the corner kind of absorbed his jump. Exotic won't get to this ball, but Kieran will. And Stake, this may count as a shot on goal. It does. Meloshisu get the easiest save he'll have all season. Talks over one. High hop, and that's got Exotic flopping around like a fish, but he does recover well. And for any defensive struggles that Solari have had, they generally recover well, but this time they do not open net for Tox. You can see all three bit there. Exotic tried to make a second attempt at the ball rather than just coming back down the sidewall. And that just started off a disastrous situation as the other two also got baited into going for that ball. Wide open net. Shamway, that's gonna roll out low for stake. And Meloshisu avoids Shamway and makes the save. Now another chance for Tox. RCD Espanol trying to take advantage of four clears and rebound opportunities, trying to close out Solari. Now Karen around the boards. That will be defended by Shamway, but he used all of what little boost he had. Does get the nose on this to get out to Tox, but he still desperately needs boost. So Stake will clear, not very far. Solari should have an opportunity here, and they do! It is Kieran playing possum up top. Meloshisu drives it home. Yeah, that fake definitely got the, the defender looking. They were looking up. Meloshisu coming in with the low shot, able to bang that one right into the center of the net. I actually think it was Exotic who went up for that pass, did not make contact the entire defense of Espanol, respected it, and they lived to regret it. 1-1 in game five, we wouldn't have it any other way. 
as we're into week two of the rival series. This will be exotic. Back towards his own end. Meloshisu brings it right back forth. Karen now out of the corner, needs a teammate. Nobody's there. It'll be Toxin said, but he's slow getting that ball. That's a very important touch. Sent away by Shamway. It springs everybody downfield. Tox to stake, two to one. Great transitional goal there. That touch out to Tox, and Tox putting it right on the nose of stake. 75 mile per hour fastball coming in. Beautiful play. Four goals and three assists now for Tox. Trying to lead Espanol to a 2-0 record. They had a chance last game. They could not close out Solari thanks to an overtime winner from Carrion. Trying to take any doubt out of the equation now in regulation. One more goal could very well be insurmountable for Solari the way that they have struggled to score in this series. Popped up and everybody will reset. It will be Espanol to initially play this in, but the first real possession will go to Solari. Meloshisu off the ceiling going for a second touch. He does not get there. Stake has given that one away. Exotic would like to have that one back as he missed it just high and Carrion is there to stop it on the other side. He does pay the price though. Eats a demo for his efforts and Exotic will recover with a full tank. RCD Espanol has figured out the formula here, which is that defensive play. Get a guy set up in mid, though, and make quick transitional goals. Meloshisu, though, finally gets the opportunity that we were talking about earlier. When he gets these one-on-one -on -one situations that can control the ball, he makes people look foolish and able to put that one around stake. Tie it up here 2-2 with a minute 43 left in game five. At this level, when somebody gets that close to the goal in a one-on-one, -on -one, you're in no man's land, and you just have to guess at that point. And, and the attacker holds all the cards. 90 seconds and a little bit of change remain in game five, at least in regulation. Could be heading for a second overtime in a row. Unless somebody can break this deadlock and hold on. Meloshisu, big drive, well wide. And the follow-up will be Shamway bringing it down for Espanol. Bullying his way through Exotic. Out of the corner and Exotic, I think he just barely clipped that ball that and does drop challenge. that off to the side. That was a dangerous challenge from Exotic there. Huge chance for a goal. Luckily, got just a piece of it. Final minute before we go to sudden death. It'll be Tox coming on. His shot is just wide. Ranging over to make sure is Kieran. And that's gonna be set high and wide as well. But now it's Espanol. They can smell blood in the water, but can they capitalize? Jamwe waiting and deferring to stake. He needs some boost though. Jamwe, we've seen him so often at zero boost. Now he's got 100 and he yoinks that ball from out of nowhere. Now has another chance as he lands on another boost pad, but he can't keep possession, at least for the moment. That'll go to the corner, and Stake thought about coming in. He does not. 15 seconds remain. Shamway, one on two as Exotic and Karen both get in the way. Still loose in front, and just off the mark was Tox. Another one that he'd like to have back, and this will be banged away. We go to overtime yet again. Man, the breakdown in defense on that side. Karrion didn't even move. He was just frozen in goal there for a few seconds. So many close opportunities there for Espanol. They just were not able to put away. Blocked by the former member of Block Block. Now Solari. It'll be very dangerously played towards their own goal. And then cleared back to midfield, but right there is Tox. So that's got to be a pass. And maybe just mental fatigue setting in. I mean, you play in a series like this, where every game has been so evenly contested. Exhaustion is a factor, and Meloshisu barely gets back. And he gets to that ball as well. Proverbially standing on his head to keep this game tied. And now to fortuitously go over to Stake. And he'll bank one in. Now looking for Shamwe, but not a good center ball. Now he's got Tox and Shamway combined to pinch that just barely off the mark. 
Zaleri scored a few of those goals last week. Not this time. They just cannot get a clear going. Finally, as we say that, Melo gonna try and clear one up, but Exotic is gonna get taken out, demoed. Ball's gonna go back into the possession of, of Espanyol here, and they just can't, they've had zero possession here since the overtime has started. They've been stuck in their half under the pressure of Espanyol's offense. Talks just inches away from finishing it there, going for a double tap, but now at midfield, It'll be Kieran. He does get a second touch along the side. Tox will take his time. Espanola slowed things down a little on the defensive end. Whereas Solari, they have tried to continue breaking out. They have tried to get a booming clear downfield, but now it's Tox making sure to steal that boost out from away from Kieran. Now Shamway around the corner. Look at his center. He's got a teammate down there, but instead it will be Stake all the way back. Now coming on Shamway, and that ball cleared yet again. Another drive saved there. Follow up. No, that's going to be cleared as well. Again, they have been oh so very close, but close only counts in horseshoes. Now Karen downfield. This is on target sometimes. You throw the ball at the net, hope something good happens. Maybe you get a lazy clear and a good rebound opportunity. That's what they're banking on at this point. Exotic trying to run interference. He could not, nor could he get the ball out to center. That's a good touch to bounce the ball over Kirian. Now Exotic challenged in the air yet again, and Espanol has fended off yet another salvo from Solari. Seen a little bit more life out of Solari here on the offensive half. They need to get this going, get a little bit more confidence, get it flowing. But it's a good sign as they are starting to get some passes going. Up high, down hard, and saved away yet again. Mela Shisu. Good grief, he's going to need a massage after this. He is carrying them with his defensive effort. Back it goes, Malashisu now trying to get it done on the offensive end, but that was going to be off the mark. Saved away anyways by Tox. This is the kind of game, individual game, that we're going to look back at near the end of the season when you think about tiebreakers and who's going to get the first spot as opposed to second or third, or maybe third versus fourth. Who's going to get the opportunity to go up to the RLCS or play for that chance as opposed to who might just have to be content with having a spot reserved next season in the Rival Series. You only get one shot at every team, Solari and Espanol, trying to make the most of this chance encounter. Center ball, Tox, floater, and a bump at the net. Still does not yield a goal, and that's gonna be cleared by Karen as well. Clever touch to pass the ball away, and a shot right down Main Street, defended well. Back and forth they go. It's like Fury and Wilder a day early. Exotic now. Taken away by Stake. This will drop down towards the target and is sent away again. The midfield battles are still just going the way of Espanol. The possession time, that, that's the stat that I'm going to be really interested in seeing over this series. Espanol has had so much ball possession through these last two matches. Yeah, time of possession, yes. Shamway, drop down for Tox. Oh, he's missed it off the post. Can he finish? Yes, he does. You don't often get a second chance, but Tox does. And he strikes true. Espanol takes it in five. Got the second and third attempt there as it came off that corner. Tox able to pick it up, turn it in, throw that one in the net. And they are going to take this one down, leaving me Owen one of my predictions for the week. Well, that's fine. You, know, you can't win them all like me all the time. But look at the number. I mean, that is just a ridiculous number. Stake, 10 shots. And only one goal to show for it. That's got to be incredibly frustrating. But more importantly, three to two in game five, three to two in the series as RCD Espanol, two and zero on the season. Solari drops to one and one, but you say 
you know, they, yeah, okay, they lost that series because you have to have a winner, you have to have a loser. But boy, I, I could watch them play a hundred times. I, I could watch them play all day. It was yeah. great play out of them. The defensive half, just unfortunately, they could not get that offense going. Their offense is really what just destroyed last week for them. They did such a great job with it. They couldn't get it going. They were getting cut off in the midfield. The passes were getting cut down. Um, just not able to get anything started. And there was a lot of times where they were just stuck. Three guys on their own goal line just trying to stay alive under the 50 million shots coming out of stake. Uh, you get stuck in your half, and they just could not break out. The possession time, I'm I'm still really interested to see what that looks like. Yeah. Plus eight, the goal differential for what was block block last week, now Solari. This time they only scored eight goals. And again, you credit the incredible defense of Espanol and the incredible defense of Solari as well. As we mentioned, you know, they, uh, Melo Shisu, especially in that last game alone, had enough saves for a whole season's worth of play. I mean, he was just all over the place, blocking everything, sometimes two or three stops at once. And you almost have to feel bad for a team that loses a series like that because, again, you only get one shot at all these teams. It was a really, really tough series to watch and see the way that it ended up going down. And I think one of the main things that ended up doing that, and I want to commend them on it, is Espanol switched over to a very quick transitional offense. They were going from defense to the side, uh, defensive play to the sidewall, back down into mid, and that's where they were making their goals. So they switched over. Let's go full D. We're always going to have a third man back. That's going to break up those offensive plays from them. They had a great game plan, and as soon as they put it into play, it shut them down. Well, these two teams respectively played Triple Trouble and Team Vertex last week. So why don't we watch those two teams play each other next? Two winless teams try to get up, back up on the right foot as we close out week two of the Rival Series. It's coming up next. <laughs> 